welcome to Trending brought to you by Airtel. My name is Kim Opera and you know this is your one-stop show for everything nice. My name is Pascal and we're going to go on a short break right now. Trending continues when we return. Welcome back. Let's get the show started. You know, trending always brings the best of the best. And today we have a creative, a multifaceted king and the crooner of Umbrella. Umbrella, welcome. The one and only Nas Boy. Nas Boy. I mean, I mean. Nas Boy, Nas Boy, <laughs> Nas Boy, Nas Boy. Hi, hi, Kim. Ginger. Hi, Kim. Hi, Pascal. Hi, Pascal. It's great to see you. It's great. It's great. Hi, it's trending. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Thank you. That's it. That's the Did end. Did somebody annoy you in traffic to death? I don't know. I'm chilled, though. Like, You're chilled. Right. Right. He's not the Nas Boy we know on social media. We, what do you know? Uh, what are you talking about now? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so that, that, that guy, is, that one is a man, Papa Bosco. Yeah. He's, he's a nice boy. That's boy. Mm -hmm. He's a nice boy. All That's right. Nice All right. From me making <laughs> David Doe to becoming a well-known skit maker and now diversifying into music. How did this happen? Okay, so I think I've said this story like one million times, but I don't mind saying it again. Oh, mm -hmm. It's actually a beautiful story. I started off as a musician sometime in 2006, Port Harcourt. Right, I'm a Port Harcourt boy. Yeah, Port Harcourt boy. And I know, don't worry, I know, I know, I know. Ah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 2006, that was okay. like immediately after my secondary school. And that's when I started recording. My mother built a studio for me in 2008. Uh, I was just making music from my estate. Shout out to people in Ajip estate, it was good. My. Sometime in 2009, I got admission into school. I was the hottest kid in school. Mm. One young small boy doing Yoruba songs. Everybody, yeah, I was this guy, University mm -hmm. of Uyo, shout out to you guys. Then in 2014, I got signed as a musician to- Really? Uh, renowned Nollywood actress, Omotola Jaladie Ekeinde. Wow. Oh my God. I was under her for three years as a musician. This is and the first so, time hearing of yeah, this. Yeah, I know. So 2017, and when the contract ended, oh, man was still hustling. 2018, I, I decided to do something else. Yeah, because I needed money. I needed to feed. So I decided to do, I delved into something that I like, photography. I had passion for photography a whole lot. So I did a lot of background study, and I started off as a photographer in 2018, towards the end, and 2019. Towards the end, my friends were like, oh, you're very funny. I don't just try this whole skit making thing now. And I don't know, I'm a very shy person. I mean, uh, then I was like very shy from a scale of 1 to 10, 11. Wow. Then I wasn't going to make skits because I was still very passionate about my music, but I had tried other things because, man, mm -hmm. being an upcoming artist is the hardest. Mm. So I decided to try other things to make money. So one random day, I was sitting in the car and um, I decided to mimic the video. So the reason why I mimicked the video wasn't for skit making. I was just mimicking the video to get his attention for my music. That was, oh. the, that was the plan for oh, me. Oh, okay. Oh. So it was around the Grammy time, the same Grammy that Angeli Kijo won sometime in 2019, yes, I think. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I was like, me I don't win Grammy, oh. I was just playing mm -hmm. around, yeah. I posted on my social media, Instagram, right? Then when I post pictures, I have six comments, seven comments, 11 comments, many maybe it's my birthday, 28 comments. <laughs> So I posted this video and I had like 130 comments. I'm like, oh, what's wow. going on? I felt like a very tiny celebrity. Right, so I felt like, okay, if this one brings comments, then maybe I should try it again. Mm -hmm. So I did it for the second time, 200 and something comments. Then I went on it again, and then maybe the fourth one, boom. I had the whole social media posting it. I'm like, ah, ah. They don't post my video, they don't post my video, they don't post my video, they don't post my video. Don't post my video. Don't post my video. <laughs> I didn't even do it for too long. But then, because I started gaining attention, I decided to switch. You know Nigerians now, they get tired easily. 100%. So I decided to switch. Uh, good for me, I had some other hidden characters that I used to nurture while I was growing up. So I decided to put it to play and boom. But the truth is the fact that even as you were going along, the video saw you. Uh, mm -hmm. I know you yeah, met Peruzi, really. you met the video. There was a particular time you also always called in your schedule is called Peruzi, Peruzi. Where you Peruzi Alpha! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. So, but why did you drop a song at that moment? I was planning to come off as a musician. Yes. Right, but people were accepting me as a comedian. So I had to be wise. Mm -hmm. stick, the stick as a comedian. 
Okay. In the meantime, till when I felt it was the right time for me to put out songs. So I finally met David. I finally met him like, we met like two, three, four times. Yeah, mm -hmm. but then I didn't feel it was nice it to talk about music, music. because yeah. he, sees, he sees you as a comedian. So exactly, exactly. So I decided to keep music to the side first and hustle comedy. Mm. Yeah. That's really interesting. So, talking about the skit makeup side of you, right? Uh, we all know that it's very hard to, you know, come up with the skits. Mm and the ideas that you guys have Almost to think like of back to back. back to back like what would you say distinguishes your type of skit making from others i'm just one very unique guy mm -hmm. uh, apart from that i play so many characters so many characters my stories are quite different i don't hug women i just exactly i just do nice skits he does do nice yeah. skits. <laughs> i just do nice skits and my my skits a lot of my skits are mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. i'm high on morals like mm. very high on morals so. okay okay why are you into the Igbo characterization though it's not my fault i just really know how to mimic characters right so um, i'm not evil so you're not evil yeah my name is lawao michael bolaji nasi lawao so, yeah, i'm like yoruba yoruba I'm from Oshun oh. State, Udo, oh. local government area, in Isa, precisely. Oh, wow. Okay. So my mom is worried. So you see, there's no Igbo thing tied to oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. I was embedded in Nollywood movies. I watched a lot of a Nollywood. Lot. I, didn't, mm. I didn't watch cartoons while I was growing up. Okay. I could see them, but I didn't watch them. Mm. I didn't even watch white movies. So I watched a lot of Nollywood, Nollywood. movies. Mm. So I think it affected me too. Probably there. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. She asked you a question before, and you talked about hawking women. Mm. Yeah, what do you really mean about that? Some people say, Oh, there are these type of skits where you just portray women, body, you know, so yeah. that's some kind of skits I do. Right? Yes, yeah, so, but some people will actually do it though. Yeah, yeah. You know, some people do it, so it's not something to lie about. But then it's not like I don't use women in my skits. It's not like I don't act with women, but then I don't sexualize women. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Right? Is there a reason behind that? Okay, you said you're high on morals. No, 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 I'm just high on morals. That's what it mm. is. It's not like there's a reason. So you, you, you necessarily just trying to tell us now that it's not necessary to literally start hawking women. No, so there are a lot of things to talk about now. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like life is broad. You can you can exactly. touch a lot of things. Like even if you want to touch women, mm -hmm. when I mean touch, I mean if you want to touch uh, stories pertaining women, yeah. you should also touch a lot of things. Right? Yeah. Like, like, let's come to the, the now. matter of the day. Mm -hmm. How did you now say, okay, now is the time for me to go back into music? One, not just going back into music. Two, getting an Afrobeat legend of that caliber to now be on the song with you. How did that happen? So first off, I decided to start making music again. All this while I've been recording, you know, if I do my Papa Bosco team in the night, I got a record. <laughs> mm. I was still recording, so I, I, I don't lose my talent mm. as a singer. Oh. Right? So I'm still going to the studio recording. I have a lot of songs right now. A lot of features so i've been working okay. right so i was just waiting for the right timing i call it right timing because ever since i came into the space i got into this space sometime in 2020 i mm -hmm. guess yes 2020. So, yeah so ever since i got into the space i made every close person around me know that i can sing oh, i always go around okay. with my speaker like okay. you always see me with my speaker any set i'll play my music so everybody everybody been there acquainted with the fact that i sing right? okay so they were just telling me put it out put it out i'm like no I am actually waiting for the right time because Nigerians are, you guys are not a bully person who are alive. I was waiting for the right time because a lot of musicians actually said, uh, no. I know a senior colleague who said, you cannot make it as a musician. But guess what? I can say that it was coming from a good place. Okay. I'm not sure he was trying to tell me that I wasn't going to make it, but I think he was trying to let me know that other comedians do these things and they never take them serious. That's what he said. Yeah. That's what he said. And of course, we've seen it happen. Mm -hmm. Nigerians will want you to stay, do your stay comedy. Yes. You, you want mm -hmm. to be an actor, That's stay as an actor. actor. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and I was bothered and I don't, I didn't want to be that guy. Mm -hmm. okay. I really, no, you cannot, box, you cannot box me. That's why I said to myself, I am a very talented actor. You are talented. Right. I, aside the fact that I make skits, don't bottle me into skit making. Right? Do not bottle me into skit making. Please do not bottle me into being uh, just an actor. I am more than this. Okay. Right? So I didn't want to be bottled. So, you break so your yeah. I could remember dropping a song sometime in February. You know, here about our one, I, mean, I get why. <laughs> so when I dropped it, it was amazing at first, put it out, and people were like, oh, you can actually sing. So when it was time to push out the music, a lot of people were trying to bully me. No single, no, I beg, nobody no, comments everywhere saying, do not sing, don't do this, don't. I felt depressed because Aww. the reason why I started this whole thing was to was sing, to, like later. To go back, right? exactly. Because 
Yeah, you I'm just doing the, the whole audience. comedy thing now. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love that I make people happy, but I was really passionate about music. Mm -hmm. right? So the end point for me was music. Mm -hmm. So when people started bullying me, God, I, I felt really sad. But then I wasn't ready to give up because I knew what I had. Mm. That one passed and uh, down to, I think, uh, like a month and two weeks ago. Um, I think like a month ago, Goyameno, shout out to Goyameno. Goyameno reached out and said, oh yeah, you, I've heard a lot of your songs. You're actually very good. Would you mind coming on my challenge? Um, yeah, the Dondada challenge. I'm like, no, I don't want. Because really, I don't joke with my music. Okay. I don't even sing anywhere. I don't play with my music. I don't talk about my music. If it's coming out, it has to be heavy. Heavy, yeah. So I don't joke with it. So I don't want to do something and it's just there. Yeah. That's my music. That's something I'm passionate about. Yeah. So you know, I said, okay, okay. Then I, I sat back and I was like, okay, you know what? If you kill, the challenge is getting big. I see it on social media. If you kill this challenge, people might give you a chance. Mm. Right. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm not going to call Goyameno. Let me write Let me first. Do it, Let yeah. me write first. If it, if it makes sense, if it sounds like, okay, it is nice, then I'll, I'll do it. So I went to the studio that night. Um, I recorded. And the producer was like, these bangs. These <laughs> bangs, different. So these people started making me lose confidence in myself to an extent, right? Because yeah. even when it bangs, I was still asking. Are you sure? Bangs. Yeah. I want to put it out there. And these guys are already saying, get out here. Yeah. So then I went back home, um, two of my friends. These my friends are the ones who will tell you that you yeah, to go they will tell you the truth. Yeah, so they were like, mm -hmm. ah, this thing really makes sense. And I'm like, are you sure? You sure? Like, bro, I know they feel I'm... They say, you don't even know what you do like this. Oh. Okay. No, so I called Goyameno in the morning and I'm like, yo, I made it. I sent it to him and he's like, when are we going to make the video? I said, today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you're a troll and you're sitting in your house watching this, I just need you guys to know that you put people through a lot. Like, you make people sad. You pressure people too much and that's unfair. Mm -hmm. I decided to put it out. Then I put off my network. Uh, I didn't want to see what was going on. Then a couple of hours later, okay, so I always wait. And if somebody is saying, um, Nas, you don't post them, I'll just deny. I'll <laughs> say I don't post them so that you will not go and check and tell me I'll that tell you, yeah. this was happening. Yeah. You know, they do well or they do well. So I, I denied, and at some point I put on my network and I and checked and I saw like 3,000 comments in one hour. I'm like, wow. That's it, that's it. I'm like, okay. It, it, yeah. So I peeped, I went through the comments, and everybody was saying, bro, leave comedy, do music. I'm like, that's the energy. I went on Twitter, Aww. it was buzzing, this guy is a multi talented, blah blah blah. This guy is I went on Facebook, it was doing well. I was I was like, okay, let me own up to my shit. I opened my phone. I'm like, yeah, open it because you already heard me every day. Let me know the truth. So, yeah, yeah, so I did that. People were saying, bro, just go and start Continue. doing music. The one that I did felt like the best of everything everybody mm -hmm. has been doing, right? And uh, I saw Tubaba, shout out to Tubaba. Tubaba is always supporting me everywhere I go. Even if I decide to, I don't be a footballer today, Tubaba gives me maximum support. Right, Tubaba posted and said, you are a cheat to your colleagues. How would you be good here and here? Hey, hey, like, okay, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I already had the song with Wandeko. So how did that happen? The Wandeko uh, whole thing happened when I love Wande. Like, two musicians I hold, because I started singing, like, I'm not a Gen Z, yeah. Exactly. So I started singing in 2006. So the kind of music that I paid attention to was uh, the Two-Face, Two the, the Band, the Wandeko, the P-Square, Star Plus. So that's how I nurtured singing. So I used to be super in love with the band's personality. I loved Two Face. I loved Wandiko so much. The only person I wanted to work with at that point was like the guys from way back because I really love Wandi. So when I did the song, it had the bumper to bumper line in the song already. I'm like, ah, Wandi would have been a very short person, but Wandi doesn't even look like I can get him. Right? Exactly. Wandi looks too so not un un not un unaccessible. Un you get me? He's like, nowhere, exactly. So, I went to an event one night and one day was at the event and I went to say hi to one day and one day hugged me. This guy, you they finish me. I'm like, okay, he likes me. <laughs> you you're big team for me. Yeah, this guy, you they finish me. I'm like, okay, nice. I didn't get one day's number. And I just, ah, but I love you. And that was it. I didn't get his number. I got a close friend's number, right? And I reached out to a friend later, Isama. I'm like, yo, bro, I'd love to speak to you. Can we have a drink? And the guy mm -hmm. was like, oh, no, Allah. Then we had a drink. And we sat down, I'm like, yo, bro, this is my story, right? I'm actually a musician. Now hear me. So mm. I played a couple of songs for him. I played about five songs. And the guy was like, ah, you that's boy. Song? Hey. So I'm like, see, bro, the story is, I want to get one day on this song. I don't know how. He now said, ah, one day, one day, one day. So you know what? He now said, give me this song and this song. 
You understand? Mm -hmm. But I did very short saying that this one one day go like Umbrella. Yeah. So he said, give me these both songs. Make I just go try. Mm -hmm. like, I beg, bro, I beg. So he took the songs and a couple of weeks later I texted and I'm like, bro, how far? And I said, no worry. He now said, no, just, just calm down. Almost done. I'm like, okay. So one day I was shooting and I got a call. Hello? Nice boy. Nice boy. You want to say something sick like this? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, uh, who be this? So, See now when they call, I said, my, I don't die. <laughs> I don't die, my fans. <laughs> Yo, one day call. Calls you, yeah. Yeah, and he was like, see, I go tell them they call you, come on, apartment. I said, God, I Oh go. my goodness. I beg go. See, Grace, who? I'm <laughs> telling you. So that's how I got to the apartment that one day call invited me. So when I got to the apartment, I saw one day, I was excited, I hugged him. I'm like, boss, I love you so much. He was just chilled. And I said, oh, I listen to the songs, but I don't like them. I don't, I don't like that one. I didn't feel bad exactly. I was like, oh, boss, if you don't like that one, um, oh, what about this one? Now, this one, this one. It was like, mm, he doesn't really like it. I'm like, ah, sh uh, I didn't really feel bad. I know that the songs are actually good, but maybe he doesn't like them, and that's fine. I'm like, yo, me, I love you. I said, oh, can we take a picture? And he was like, no, no, no. He doesn't want to take a picture with me. Then I knew something fishy was going down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't want to take a picture with me then. Something fishy is going down. Then he was smiling, then all of a sudden the producer pressed play and yo, that was the one day cool's verse on my song. I'm like, Whoa, yo, that's shit. amazing. That's amazing. And it's great to see your story mm -hmm, as well. Mm -hmm. I'm really moving to our next question actually. Because there seems to be a trend now. Or would I say a trend of skit makers actually diversifying into music, music acting, or other careers, you know, Brother Shaggy sings also. Mm -hmm. Sydney now has his own record label. Mm -hmm you know and you know the lot would you say that these were hidden passions that they've always had or were just an opportunity when opportunity meets preparedness i see big brother people where she came having her own skincare she has businesses mm -hmm. so that's how it is for everybody right yeah so it's just you not wanting to stick to one thing exactly right so it, for sydney record label is a business exactly you get me mm -hmm. for shaggy uh, music is something that he has always been passionate about. So mm -hmm. you see him trying to do his thing. Yes. Right? Despite uh, getting a lot of fame from this, from other, this side. other side. So it's just chasing your dreams, basically. Mm -hmm. So I don't think anybody is trying to copy anybody. It's just, it's just normal. Yeah. Some people don't want to sing. Some people actually had dreams to become actors and actresses, right? Yeah. So they decided to start small from skit making, then mm -hmm. they grew up as skit makers. And then they would definitely it. want to become actors. Exactly. Because now so you have the audience at the end mm. of the day. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's just having, you know, that thing that just brings you out mm -hmm. there. Because True that. True at that. the end of the day, mm -hmm. this entertainment industry is a hustle. At the end of the day, <laughs> so at the end of the day, you don't want to settle. Nobody you wants don't to settle. settle. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, guys. All right, it's still trending versus you at Airtel. We're going to want a short break right now. When we return, trending continues. Stick around. Welcome back, guys. It's still trending versus you by Airtel. And right now, I have Nas Boy with me, who's about to play some games. The Fast Fire um, segment here. I ask you some questions and you answer in 60 seconds. Let's get things started, man. You ready? All right. Uh, what is the most productive moment of the day for you? Night. Okay. Night. Music, money, food, women. Remove one. Music, money, food, women. Remove one. Remove one. Yes. Hey. Music, money, <laughs> money food, yeah. women. Remove one. Music, money, food, food women. Music, money, food, women. Mm -hmm. Ah, I come off food. I was in trouble. Let's just take women off. Okay, take women off. All right. If you were not into comedy and music, what would you be doing? Photography. Photography. Copy that. Dating, single, or complicated? Dating. Dating. Copy that. Most expensive thing you're wearing at this moment? My shoe. Copy that. Who's your female uh, celebrity crush? Hmm. <laughs> there are plenty. Pick one. Say oh, one. Just one. <laughs> just pick, uh, one. Uh, pick one. Pick yeah. one. Do you want to pass? Do you want to pass? Do you want to pass? Pass. Okay. <laughs> What's your spec? What type of woman do you like? Kim. Okay, Kim is like kind of spec. Ah, uh -uh, it's plenty. Okay, if your life were a story, what will it be titled? Never thought about it, but um, Resilience. Copy that. Spell your name backwards. Nas Boy. Nas Boy. Uh, no. <laughs> I. Pass a big. Describe I your. Old. <laughs> no, you're thinking about it now. Oh, I'm not supposed to. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Anyways, describe your perfect kiss in three words. Hmm. Succulent. Succulent. One. Hmm. French kiss. French kiss. <laughs> That's three words, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's still trying to work to you by Airtel. We're going to short break right now. One return, Nas Boy, Kim, and I, we're going to be in your set. Stick around and go nowhere. 
Welcome back. You're still watching Trending brought to you by Airtel. And we still have Nas Boy with I am Pascal in the studio. Absolutely. Now we would usually go to the video and picture of the day. But Nas Boy has scrubbed himself off the internet and we couldn't find any throwback of him. Clap and what happened? What, what kind happened? of, what what kind of life are we living like this? Maybe God this is where I won't belong. I <laughs> <laughs> How did like you do it? You, you, went you, you were not using Facebook or what? Like, how? I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. What did you do? You well, knew this time would come. I, I get believe you when I still find something. So expose me. Go no, on. we didn't find no, anything, did unfortunately. Yeah, thank God now. <laughs> Bruh. Wow. You were not using Facebook back then. Leave me alone. Oh, ah. What did you do, Nasboy? You went to What's your real you name? Maybe Nasirula. 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 Maybe Nasirula. At some point, I also. Yeah, yeah, possibly, possibly. possibly. Mm. possibly. Mm. Because I also wanted to see some of my throwback pictures. And you couldn't find them? Yeah, but I see them. I see them. Yeah, because you know the name that you use. Yeah, it's still Nasirula, but I think you need to do a lot of search. A lot of search, because there'll be a lot of Nasirula, yeah. eh? Mm. Fantastic, fantastic. I'm sorry. No worries, but okay, man, no don't worry. That, at all, at all. And I won't man. shame you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. God, cover me. <laughs> Bruh. The big umbrella. I'm telling you, I'm yeah, telling you. I was talking about that umbrella. I wanted you to teach us that that, that, uh, that uh, challenge. It's yes. not hard now. Yeah, let's go, let's it's go. It's hard go. though. Some of us cannot move. I don't know, just move to the, move to the... Let's go, let's go. That's what I had to see what she was showing. She was showing that you were having epileptic. No. Shock. So let's go, teach us, teach us how to do this. Like this, like this. Yes, no, like this, like this. Life, life, life. DJ! Let's go. Spin the beat. Oh, no, no, no. Search to the left, yeah? Uh-huh. Ah! Oh, my God. I'm making no good to gym. I already see you. You're so keen, you're already getting it. Yeah. 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 We good. Yeah, we're but good. For, for women, it used to be a little bit hard though because no, no, no. some of that things are going to be I think for men, that's even harder. I, I, I don't know what you're saying. Though. <laughs> I'm innocent. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, it's a wrap for today's episode. My name is Kim Opera. My name is Pascal. And my name is Nas Boy, the umbrella boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, it's like official Hip TV, on Twitter or X, and YouTube is at Hip TV. Absolutely. Till we see you again next time, don't, don't forget, forget to. You. Keep, keep it moving. moving. Yeah, keep it moving, guys. <laughs> <laughs>